are any better than sea boats. Maybe after all this, I should take Margaret on an airship trip. where we had a great big celebration after I became a knight. I'm guessing the place was in better shape at the time. Those clockwork knights don't really seem to care for architecture or public safety.
more petrified knights. Hate to say this, but poor fellows. magics are inside the lizard. needed with some ammunition and something with which to light the cannon. Time for my ice arrows to show up. Ammunition and something with which to light the cannon. Time for my ice arrows to show up.
This is extraordinary. And disconcerting. I think this belongs to Valerius. But what if it's not his? What if it's, I don't know, Wilhelmina's? Will we end up with Wilhelmina in Valerius's body? Your fancy pants is right. We should study this first. Yes, I propose a hands-on experiment. What happened to all the metallic monsters? Amadeus, when did you get here? Looks like we delivered our part of the deal. Now we need your help in taking down Sonny and Godric. And finding my children. And restoring the night! <laughs> Let's see what we can do. With her powers of clairvoyance, the seeress Barbara had found the location of the villain's magnificent airship. The wizards of the observatory even let our heroes borrow their air cycle to get up to the clouds. But what sort of adversity would the heroes now meet, facing Lady Sunny, Lord Goderick, and their clockwork minions, all the while soaring through the skies? I've been counting numbers just to see how far I can get. Oh, just got over 9,000. What's keeping Pops? Oh. I'm sure he'll be here just in time, like on our birthday. Well, since he hasn't remembered our birthday in six years, I'm guessing you're being sarcastic. Sorry, my mistake. Wait, I know that voice. You two always crash land, and now we're without a getaway plan. And Zoya! Now, first of all, we need to find the triplets. Dad? Dad! We're down here! Uncle Pontius! Stomp down to the deck! Let's start the search here. Where are all those tin can knights? <sighs> they couldn't hear us. But they'll find us soon enough. Children, we're going on a little field trip. The triplets and our two traitors are somewhere on this ship. Let's find our way below deck. There's no time to waste.
wonder what all these switches do. I was hoping for a secret room to open. And luxurious.
this thing on? Testing, testing. Ah, you heinous troublemakers may have found our headquarters, but we've no intention of granting you an audience. What's that supposed to mean? The ship is in free fall. Since the powers of Tri don't grant you the ability to survive unfortunate airship accidents, I believe this is our final farewell. Well, that doesn't make sense. You'll fall down along with us. Agnes, Lucius, Julius, how am I going to get you back? Enemies. Enemies. Brains. Something. This ship is going down. We have to find the engines and fix them before this thing hits the ground. To the engine room! Fireball marks. The triplets were here. Go and see if they left a message or something useful. We'll keep an eye out for the clockwork goons. I'll be as quick as I can. Amadeus delved deeper into the hold of the flying airship, hoping to find some clue as to where his three children could be heading along with the villains. Julius, Lucius, Agnes. I have a strangling feeling in my chest like I'll never see them again. And Margaret won't just get mad this time. She'll never want to see my face if I don't return with the triplets intact. Advanced magic. Oh, I hope 
reversing gravity helps me find the triplets. I return. Any luck? Nothing left by the triplets, but I did find an interesting new spell. Goodness, this ship was made to sort of float in the air. Somehow it seems to actually manage along, even though we're gliding aimlessly. I suppose the silver lining on this cloud is that at least the triplets seem to behave like themselves. Godric hasn't yet sucked their lives and personalities out of them to push in his creepy automatons. Oh! Silver lining! <laughs> I thought you were talking about the actual clouds here. Hmm. <laughs> silver in the clouds.
Amadeus, do you think we could make something out of this? Hmm, maybe rearranging the pipes will help. Did it work? Nothing seemed to break, at least. <laughs> we still seem to be up in the sky. We made it worse. But we're not dead yet. Let's go see if we can fix the wing.
All right, who knows how to fix this thing? Uh, try pulling some lever. Now, let's get the triplets and those evil goons. They won't get away so easily. The heroes started a riveting chase through the clouds after the villainous duo and the kidnapped triplets. However, none of our heroes had any idea how to park an airship safely. There! Land ho! Let's learn how to land a ship. It'll be like pulling a horse to a halt. Except this horse is wings and metal and hot air. Forget that. Let's just jump off while we can. <coughs> <coughs> Sonny and Godric landed somewhere on this floating island. They don't seem to have gone too far. Bird's eye perspective can trick you. What looked a short distance from above can turn out to be quite a hike on land. Happy looking, fellas.
together now. Guarding this road. So it might lead us somewhere important. Soon we'll find the triplets, and I'll be the hero again, and Margaret will take me back. And this horrible ordeal will finally be over. Sure. And the kingdom and the Astral Academy will be magically restored. And all the missing lords and ladies and wizards will be found with the stroke of a wizard's staff. <clears throat> Realistically, I'd say in the best scenario, we have a 50% chance of a happy ending here. Pontius, Zoya, I think this is one for the two of you. I hope my fire arrows don't lose their edge down here in the dump.
Amadeus, it's your show. this, but I'm glad the happy old punter seems to be back. Keeping up team spirit was a horrible ordeal. Please don't make me do it again. Yes, everything's good. Everything will be fine. The employees of the Clockwork Night Assembly Workshop must regrettably inform you of their immediate resignation. There are no services or amusements here in the Emerald Valley, and the climate is far too humid. And we're also concerned with some of your ethical choices. For example, kidnapping and experimenting on young wizarding students has been a long-time concern of ours. So I guess this is where the clockwork nuisances all came from. Ugh. Tiny glowy cabbage. Hmm, that's new. Hmm, a poison flower. doom as I had planned. Although I did make my beautiful airship to fly, not crash, so my mistake. However, we still have Amadeus's children, so I wouldn't advise you to approach any further. Give them up this instant, or we'll fight you very hard.
proposition. We surrender the children to you, and you all leave the kingdom, and we'll never speak of this again. The only one doing any living will be the two of you, in handcuffs. No one would dare imprison the rightful heir to the throne. Except the real knights of the realm, especially after what you tried to pull at the Bastion of Hope. Godfrey, your basilisk failed, and you kept it from me. I didn't want to disappoint you. How are we to strategize if I am not kept up to speed at all times? Turn that thing off. They'll hear us. I suppose we have to get the ball into the well. Let's work on this one together, Knight. Someone must like it hot. I hope this magic snowflake won't melt before we find its owner. Our villains must be hiding somewhere here. And they still have Julius, Lucius and Agnes. We must find them soon. The Clockwork Palace was all that now stood between the heroes finding Julius, Lucius, and Agnes. But the place was sure to be full of devious traps, engineered by Lord Godric, the master of the Clockwork Knights.
Look around. Isn't it amazing? I spent my family's fortune on building this fully automated luxury palace. With the teeniest press of buttons, I command all the parts of my humble house. Come down here, you coward, and stop letting your house do your work for you! Now, who could this belong to? And living lightning, trapped inside a bronze sphere. Welcome to the Danger Corridor. Sold our way into a trap. This is actually a pretty well thought out palace. Look, they have signs. This one says dungeons. Sounds like the place to look. Isn't this a cheerfully dank little dungeon?
Mr. Dog Biscuit. I have a hunch as to whose it might be. What's this? A golden raspberry? By my count, we've now found all the stolen magic belonging to our missing Astral Academy students. the Astral Academy's cleaner. And up there are all the missing students. Hello, everyone. We're here to save you. They don't seem to respond. Dear cleaner person, terribly sorry, but I need to be rude for a moment. This is not the Astral Academy. I see there is something strange going on. No time to explain, but could you find a way to get them all down? We need to find Amadeus's triplets before something awful happens to them. Just feed these to your fellow students. I'm sure you'll figure out which is which. Wait, where, where are we? What is this place? 
It's a hidden, fully automated clockwork fortress secret hideout floating in the clouds. Any other questions? No. I'll get on it then. Ships here. Great. Means we can get back home without having to resort to skydiving. Do you think the powers of Trine will be enough to pull us through this one? So you think our best is not enough? Well, just because we three can swap places and not die, it doesn't make the triplets invulnerable. There are all sorts of horrific things that might happen to them. Oh, I wish Trine were here. She'd be able to rescue my children. She was always so kind and clever. She'd know what to do. This room's a bit sinister, isn't it? Trophy hunting. This lord really is the lowest of the low. These beasts seem kind of familiar. That's because we fought mechanical versions of each animal. So he steals more than just wizards' lives to make his contraptions. Ooh. With the powers of Trine, everything will soon be right as rain. I don't know, Pontius. The triplets are still at Sunny and Godric's mercy. We'll find them soon. Oh, I wish the real Trine were here. She'd know what to do.
Get ready. It's time to show them. Ah, you haven't seen my invention in action yet. Dad! <laughs> you can do nothing but watch helplessly as I remove the magic and personalities from these three little wizards. No! Uh... Either you heroes cease all your actions against us, or these adorable children end up leading very dreary rests of their lives. You're dreary! See that balcony? Wouldn't you just hate it if something precious was tossed over the side? Like all their memories. <gasps> no! Please, we'll do anything. Just don't harm them. Godric, have your minions put them in and start the procedure. As you see, even the powers of Trine can't help you outsmart me. It's Trine! A light show? Amusing. But your unimpressive sleight of hand won't save you now. Mm. How odd. It seems to be out of order. What just happened? Oh, that was amazing! First we were there, and now we're here. What? How did they get back there? Hey! Looks like we're on the right side of the thing now! Why don't you label these buttons? Which one is it? The red one! In their hour of despair, a mystical image of Trine appeared to the heroes giving them the power to switch places with Amadeus's children. This had allowed the heroes to finally face Lady Sunny and Lord Goderick. But Sunny and Goderick were not ones to give up without a fight. This duo had one final card up their sleeve. Lord Goderick's finest creation was a monstrous machine of war prepared to obliterate the heroes.
some adjustments needed. <laughs>
already, Sonny. Lord Goderick, you are under arrest. You'll be taken in for being the most treacherous aristocrats of all time. What? You've no authority here. Lady Sunny is to be the rightful queen. And as her first minister, of course, I will perform the crowning. Oh, help me, heroes. This madman kidnapped me and made me do all these awful things. Take me home. Oh, Sunny. She's all yours, heroes. As for me... Goodbye. I'm sorry. I didn't know you had a backup plan. Quick, let's make a run for it. Sunny! My flight pack can only carry one person! No! There's still a chance. Head for a lake or some trees. Well, it won't matter if we hit them too fast. And so Lady Sunny and Lord Goderick vanished, never to be seen again by the three heroes of Trine. The kingdom, while in tatters, was safe again. But what about our heroes? Zoya found an unlikely companion with whom to share her adventures. Want to come with me? Amadeus learned a very important lesson about family. Julius, Lucius, Agnes. It doesn't matter what happens between me and Margaret. I'll always, always love you. And Pontius? Hey, the day was saved. What's getting you down? The kingdom wasn't saved at all. It's in ruins. Maybe I'm... I'm just not the right person anymore to continue on as a hero of Trine. What? Without you, we'd never have managed anything. Amadeus would have either run off or have been distracted all the time. I'd just go around stealing everything. Pontius, you're the heart of our team. Oh, Zoya! I always knew you were decent after all. <laughs> yes, yes. And you are crushing me, you big goofy knight. Even in the darkest times, there was some hopeful light left in the world, and the light of our heroes still blazed on. <laughs> <laughs>